How could kidney concerns or kidney pain, kidney distress, cause back pain? So therefore, could your back pain be caused by your kidneys? That's the question I'm going to answer today. Now we've often heard that you may have a pain in your back and sometimes people will say, I think it's my kidneys. And they don't actually necessarily feel a pain inside, but they feel a pain more around the surface of the back. They might feel a pain sort of down through the back to the groin area. Um, and sometimes it's really sharp. So if there's a kidney stone, um, that would be a really sharp back pain. But say the kidneys were just under some sort of load. So they sit on ligaments in a capsule of fat that supports, that protects them basically quite uh, between the diaphragm and uh, the rib area. So they're up here in this sort of blue-green zone here, this region. They drop down to about L3 at the lowest. And so they're, they're kind of protected by the ribs, but not particularly. They are associated with the hip flexor muscles. So you can see they have a relationship. So the hip flexor is super strong, it runs from the lumbar spine down to the hip and its job is to bring your knee across, across the body and lift your leg. So it's called a hip flexor and an internal rotator because it brings the leg internally, so towards the midline and it's going to bring the knee up at the hip and that will actually be called flexion at the hip joint. Extension is putting your leg backwards so you would, as if you were trying to kick something behind you. Now when the hip flexor is stressed, it will actually create tightness between the lumbar spine and the, the leg, the pelvis. So that can show up as a pain anywhere in the lumbar spine, either up high just between the transition between blue and green, or it could be lower down around the SI joint at the back of the pelvis. So I might have to do this. So around the back, the back here, you'll have a pain around this region. Or you may find more of a pain around the leg joint here, and it may radiate around through this muscle down here. So what we've found in practice is that if we adjust the kidney, it will often relieve the back pain. Visual manipulation is quite an old fashioned. It really, most physicians did visual manipulation prior to um, good quality uh, penicillin uh, because cutting people open you often led to their death because there'd be, you know, bugs would get into their body. And uh, so they found that they sewed people up if they were open, but they didn't necessarily open people up just for the hell of it. So prior to that level of good anesthesia, good operation procedures, mostly they did adjustments of the viscera through the, the stomach, through the skin wall. And that's quite a perfected art that can actually change how organs sit, sit and therefore how they work. So we also could readjust the tone of the hip flexor muscle. And as a chiropractor, we'd probably also adjust where the hip flexor attaches, so T12, L1, L2. And that will reset that muscle by changing the, uh, if you like, the firing apparatus of the muscle near the tendon, where the the muscle joins onto the bone, so the motor unit at the muscular tendinous junction. We also might adjust at the leg end, so you may adjust the hip joint and that would also momentarily lengthen the muscle, just at a very sharp impulse, like that. And that will quite likely reset the muscle, that's the experience. So if someone does a hip extension on the, when they're lying on their front, and you adjust either of those areas, their amplitude of hip extension will increase maybe by 20 to 50 percent. So that's definitely changed the ability of that muscle to relax and the ability of the glutes and the hamstrings on the other side to fire. 
So, back in a loop. Could the kidney cause back pain? Yes, it can. It can via the nervous system from the organ back to the brain through the spinal cord. So the um, kidneys are sitting at this region, green to blue. They'll actually be supplied by blood and nerves. And those nerves are, some of them are efferent, so they go to the brain. Efferent come from the brain. And they are going to um, tell the brain what the, body, the organ system's up to. And if it's under stress, it'll actually send an increased amount of information. So, kind of like distress calls, uh, irritation, it's almost like the organ system is calling out for assistance. So it's telling the brain things, and the brain is now going to set in, in place certain responses that'll help to clear it. From coughing, if you've got something in your throat, to a other reaction around the kidney area. So it might make you thirsty, so you'll drink water to try and flush things. So <clears throat> that firing from the organ to the spine, that'll actually increase the traffic and that nerve impulse will potentially stimulate the muscles at the same time because it's all in the same area and often running in the same nerve bundle, uh, you know, the same nerve coax cable if you like. And uh, the, through the intersection, through the ganglion, where it all goes into a junction box and then up to the, into the spinal cord and up to the brain, there's often a spillover at the ganglion, at the nerve ganglion, which is where some, the infection of chickenpox would sit. So the, the, the chickenpox virus will often sit in the nerve ganglion. And when you are under the weather, so you're tired, fatigued, that area might be strained, that virus will not be well contained by the nervous system through the immune system and it'll actually now irritate the nerves, the sensory nerves particularly, along that uh, what's called dermatome or skin level of sensitivity and you'll feel like you've got um, skin sensitivity, something like sunburn. So it can be exquisitely uncomfortable and in that case too a good crisp adjustment of that level will often reset that nerve ganglion as the virus settles and change how it feels. It'll feel much better. So the long and the short of all of this is that organ health and organ um, happiness are essential for comfort in the physical body. And we know from our experience that uh, when the organs are under load, they will influence directly or indirectly the systems, the muscular and structural systems that will actually create pain. So in clearing the back pain we will often check the kidney and look to see if that's a factor in maintaining pain in the back. It might not be but it may well be. Um, one of the concepts that sits inside a chiropractic paradigm, not a medical paradigm, is that where there is long-term uh, mispositioning of bones, called a subluxation, which is a change in the uh, dynamics and the nervous system feedback at a joint level, that irritation of the joint capsule and of the proprioception from that level will actually create an increased amount of nervous irritation, creating dis-ease or a lack of ease disease. And left unchecked over time, it is a factor in changing how the health of the organ at that level may perform. It's not a medical paradigm. It's well established inside classical chiropractic as a relationship. And the work of people like Dijanet and um, Clarence, Clarence, dear me, Gonstead, um, they both show, they had huge practices looking largely at structural and organic issues in their clients, and they had great success. So while the mechanism may not be properly understood, the results were there. So if you do have a persistent back pain, 
and you're also experiencing some pain with urination, say, or a pain that's not entirely mechanical, so the pain is sometimes worse lying in bed, it's actually not particularly triggered by moving, then that could be time to have uh, a physician, which could be more likely to be a chiropractor that does visceral manipulation, look at the relationship of the kidney to the structure and see if there's something that can be done to optimise that. There may still be a need to see your GP or your, um, your medical doctor uh, and they may need to do some intervention. However, what we've found is that once we put the body out of stress, the healing process will take place internally because we do know that high stress, physical or biochemical or emotional, often all three, will actually hamper the body's ability to heal because it will not be in the healing state of the nervous system, the parasympathetic. And without that healing uh, reflex being appropriately triggered, then basically the body has no choice, but it cannot heal itself. It can't get into that healing state. And a good chiropractic adjustment is now good supportive evidence from Heidi Heivik and uh, the work that they're doing at the um, Inside Subluxation, uh, the Chiropractic Leadership Alliance, they are showing that where regular adjustments are undertaken, there's, a ch there's an increase in heart rate variability, and we know that heart rate variability is an indicator of nervous system balance and therefore the body's ability to adapt and heal itself. So that's my comment for the day. So yes, angry kidneys can cause back pain, and a back, the back can be used as a tool in conjunction with other things to optimise that organ function to get you back on track. So stay up to date, click and like, hit the notification bell, click the uh, like button and we will stay in touch with you and you'll be notified as we put up our uh, posts several times a week. Okay, all the best.